hi everyone it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with a tutorial today and if you remember the Christmas pop-up card I did the other day uh, it's been really popular I've had loads of people sending us pictures of their version and I've been sitting thinking mm, what else can I do so I've made a this was just the first one I had the idea in my head and I just quickly made it so it isn't finished and we're going to make a few changes but it's the similar kind of thing but you only have to make one cut rather than three like the other one and then basically it pops up and it's got a little house inside which you don't need a house die or anything like that um, I just measured and cut it but the little windows and the door uh, I have a die from Alina Crafts um, but you don't need it you can easily make your own little doors and windows I just used it because I had it um, a brick embossing folder which I've used before that's from Craft Stash and it folds flat so I think it's really cool and I suppose what you could do is say if you wanted to put some vellum behind the windows you could actually pop a little electronic tea light in there so when it when it's you know night time you could put it on it would look like there was little lights on in the house so dead easy that's what we're going to do uh, I've got all the little bits and pieces here that I'm going to use and I got this the other day which is Paper Addicts Slay Ride and it is absolutely beautiful just gorgeous gorgeous Christmassy patterns so right let's see here so yeah lovely Christmas patterns um, so what I've done is I'm going to make the actual inside pop-up piece out of the paper so the two bits you need to know for now are the inside and the outside card base which will be like that okay so the outside base is 11 and a quarter inches by six inches the pop-up piece is 11 inches by what's that I would say five and three quarters so the pop-up piece let me get this right yeah you need to fold it with the pattern that you want shown on the inside so I'm just going to fold it in half and just burnish it okay and then obviously when we open that that's the way that I want want it to be okay so I'm going to slightly change the measurement on this so we are going to measure in one inch from each end and we are going to measure up one one inch not an inch and a half like I've done on that one so take a pencil and a ruler just measure in one inch from each end and then measure up one inch
all right so you should have your two lines there and then we are just going to cut straight up those little pencil lines it's dead easy just follow the pencil line okay just like we did with the other one and then I'm just going to score that as well. Well, actually I'm not because I can't really see it. Hang on, there's someone at the door. Yes, yeah, sorry, it was a delivery of craft stuff, of course. <laughs> right, so I have just folded that the way back and forth. And then we need to do what we did on the other card basically push this in like that just push that in and then just fold it closed and that's it for this one we just end up with a little pop-up piece to put our little house on that's it dead simple right for the house what I did was I've took piece of just craft card and I've cut it to five and a half inches by four and three quarters. Now what I'm going to do is on the four and three quarter side so, so it's like that I'm going to measure down from the top to four centimeters or roughly one and a half inches and just put a little pencil mark and then we need to find the middle of this which will be um it, it should be two and a quarter I think no that would be far that would make five and a half um, mine's gone blank because I'm on camera so I'm basically just gonna eyeball it <laughs> just try and get the middle as much as you can and you're gonna put join those little marks together And this is just to create like a roof. So that doesn't look too bad really. Then just get some scissors and basically just cut that. Now the next thing is take, well I've got like I say I've got a brick embossing folder which I got from Craft Stash. I'm sure they've just got them back in recently, so I'll put the link if they have. I'm going to emboss it, and I've made a little piece for a chimney, which I'm also going to emboss. Why is that not? I have made a little chimney somewhere. There it is. So I basically just cut a scrap of card, and then I've cut a little top like that, and I'm just going to kind of emboss this as well we'll emboss this piece which is one and a quarter inches by seven eighths and this tiny little piece is one and one eighth by half an inch for the top of the chimney so I'm just going to quickly run them through and I'll be back in a second sorry I'm not actually sure where we're up to now I've been interrupted that much today so I've cut the little windows out and I'm going to show you how I've done this bit like made the little curtains so I've just took a little scrap of paper and a pair of scissors I 
and all I did was I've just, I don't know, kind of cut like a little triangle out of the middle and then they kind of look like a little pair of trousers <laughs> and that's how I've been making the curtains and then just sticking them onto a square piece of card and then put the little window over the top in this case this will be a little door but what you could do if you don't have these specific little dies is just do what I've done there cut out a little square make a little curtain like that and then all you would need to do is just put um, like you know the little window lines down just like a down and across and you can make your own little windows so you know you don't have to have particular dies for these you can just make your own and I've only used them just because I've got them that's all happy with that up to now and then I've just made these little pieces for the roof which again this was a little die from the roof of Alina's house and I've just cut them out of white glitter felt and I'm going to stick them on there but you can use whatever you've got Alright, so there is my sweet little roof and stuff. And then just various little dies that are sorry enough dies, little stamps. Um where are they? I've got these really cute little stamps that I think I got from Craft Stash last year. And the little wreath and the little cat, which are absolutely tiny, but I thought they were perfect and I've done I've just cut cut them out and um, sorry stamped them colored them in and cut them out just fussy cut them out and I'm trying to find the little wreath and the little cat because I definitely did them my dad lost them because they're that small oh yes I've got them I put them in here there so I did the tiny wreath which I want to put on the door and then I did the tiny little cat <laughs> which I want to just pop I don't know just somewhere down there and I just think it just makes them look cute doesn't it and then I've got a little tree that I'll actually die cut this one out of something so I'm just gonna pop that somewhere there and some cute little bells I'm probably gonna drape this just round here like that so I think I'm going to get on and stick these down and I'll be straight back all right so there we go I think that looks really cute now I'm going to take the pop-up bit and I want my house to sit on the pop-up bit like that so I'm going to put glue just on this bit here the house will pop up okay isn't that just adorable and then what I've done is I've just took again some of this white glittery felt and I've just used a border die and created like these kind of little, little snowy effects. And I'm just gonna probably stick them somewhere like this on here. Thank you. 
little pop up a little snowy little area at the bottom and then what I've done is I just took some little stamp sets and I stamped and coloured and then fussy cut out but what I did was I left like a little stick on me little stamps when I when I cut them out so that I could fold them and then the idea was they can pop up as well but then obviously when the card closes they can just go down so that was what I was hoping to achieve with that I think I might have to use glue dots because it's quite hard to stick um, like felt down or things to felt so I'm going to put just little glue dots on the back here and then for example I can put that one there and you can see how cute that they just pop up Santa Claus is coming to town and I think it just it just makes it look more real to there and I think that just looks so cute especially with the little you know little poppy up bits isn't that adorable and then the front of the card, um, obviously you can do whatever you want. So what I did, what I've done is I've cut out, I've used some more of the same paper that I used on the inside. Well, I lined it with them. Um, I cut out some silver card first, then the paper, and that's going to sit on the front. And then I've also got this die which is from Hobbycraft. So I've what I've done is I've cut it out red, then cut it out white so I can stick his beard and stuff back in. So I'm going to stick all that on and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so I have stuck on this gorgeous little die and I've just put the little beard and bits in with white um, linen card. And I also put the little border back in which I don't know if you can still get it but it is hobby a hobby craft die um intracuts I think you call it so that's the card and then you open it up and we've got our little house and our little pop-up stamps how sweet is that so easy to make um, very similar concept to the other one but this is probably well even quicker and easy because you only have one little cut and um, you can use all your stamps color in cut them out you don't have to just use dyes all the time um, and I just put a bit of like eyelash trim on the top it stands up and I just think it looks so cute so yeah I hope you'll have a go at that one Um I'll put details on my blog as well and then it just falls down now it will go flat in an envelope this goes really flat what you're going to have to bear in mind is if you do want to make the chimney it is going to make the card stick out quite a bit more um, you could just make your card a bit longer it's entirely up to you but anyway I love that die so I'll put all the links of what I can in the description so thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.